In this video, I'll be talking about choline, why choline is important, especially for pregnant mothers. I will also be talking about some good dietary sources of choline, signs of choline deficiency and toxicity. So what is choline? Choline is a water-soluble micronutrient found in every cell of our body. Choline is produced in minute amounts in the liver, but we require a dietary supplementation of choline in order to survive. So what exactly makes choline so important? Well, the body needs choline for the communication of one cell membrane to another for proper neurotransmission as a precursor of acetylcholine for the transportation of lipids, as well as many other things. Choline as a precursor to acetylcholine is significant because choline is required for the neural communication and proper function of our muscles. Acetylcholine also functions as a neurotransmitter and neuromodulator in the brain. Specifically, we need acetylcholine for our arousal, attention, memory, and motivation. Choline was first discovered in egg yolk by the chemist Adolf Strecker, and it doesn't surprise me that he first found it in eggs. An egg's yolk is saturated with choline because it is extremely important for the proper development of the baby chicken. So you'll find a parallel in nature that choline is also sequestered in the womb of other creatures, including humans, during pregnancy. Choline is so important that the mother's body actually pulls choline from all parts of the body to concentrate it in the womb, such that the amniotic fluid surrounding the fetus is 10 times higher in choline concentration than in the mother's blood. Normally, when there is a deficiency in choline, symptoms observed include headaches, migraines, low energy levels and fatigue, memory loss, cognitive decline, learning disabilities, muscle aches, nerve damage, and mood changes or disorders. Furthermore, changes that occur in the body from assumingly prolonged deficiency of choline include the development of fatty liver, liver damage, and muscle damage. But for the pregnant mothers, a deficiency in choline results in the irreversible damage to the baby's brain hippocampus, meaning that long-term memory capacity of the child is permanently decreased which in turn means that the resulting child would have a significant learning disability. Moreover, a deficiency of choline means that the child would suffer greater risk for neural tube defects, cleft lip and palate, and even autism. On the other hand, an excess choline amount of 7,500 mg or more may cause symptoms of hypotension, which is low blood pressure, as well as sweating, diarrhea, and a fishy body odor, but that amount is hard to get by diet alone. Moving on, consider that it is considered by the NIH that the adequate intake of choline is 550 milligrams per day for men and 425 milligrams per day for women. The upper tolerable limit for choline intake is marked at 3,500 milligrams per day for adults. Finally, if you're looking to make sure that there is enough choline in your diet, some good sources of choline include liver, other organ meats, eggs, specifically the yolk is very high in choline, wild caught fish, shiitake mushrooms, chickpeas, cauliflower and other cruciferous vegetables. If you're looking for a choline supplement, you can look into alpha GPC choline and I have left an Amazon link in the description if you are interested. But do note that the healthy person with a healthy diet normally does not need to supplement extra choline. Thank you for listening. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask me in the comments below. I make videos depending on what you, the viewer, would like to see. If you want more videos like this one, I'd appreciate if you like and share this video and subscribe to my channel. Bye!